Hello, this is Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell. Today we're discussing stem cell therapy for erectile dysfunction. The definition is when one is unable to get and maintain an erection. In the case of ED, we're talking uh, chronic um, erectile dysfunction. Many of any age experience erectile problems. Around the age of 40, about 40% 40 of men said they have some element of sexual dysfunction. ED affects about 30 million men in the U.S. According to the NIH, about 5% of all 40-year-old men have ED, and that number rises with age to between 15 and 25% of 65-year-old men have chronic ED. Why does it occur? Well, there's a litany of conditions that can contribute, and there's crossover, sometimes a combination. Uh, it does involve a complex relationship between neurologic, vascular, hormonal, and psychological components. Some of the physical conditions may include high blood pressure, diabetes, kidney disease, uh, prostate cancer, low T, thyroid, post-injury, and then psychological, maybe by itself or in combo, can be stress, depression, anxiety, um, and or low self-esteem. So various tests will be performed by providers to evaluate erectile dysfunction, various blood and urine tests. There's an overnight erection test uh, usually men have between three and five erections during the night during sleep. And if the test shows normal erections, uh, then, you know, the assumption is that the blood flow is intact and that it might be a mental uh, issue. There is an injection test, uh, which is intracavernosal um, with medication. If an erection occurs, then most likely it's a blood flow problem. Um, ultrasound can look at the real-time blood flow to see how, uh, how stealthy it is, how healthy it is. Now, treatments for ED uh, range from lifestyle changes, such as losing weight, drinking less alcohol, quitting smoking, which can help with microcirculation, uh, for mental issues, counseling for stress, anxiety, etc. There are some short-term medications, which most everybody knows about, Cialis and Viagra, works for about 80%. There are some injections and suppositories uh, such as Alprostadil and the Muse suppository, uh, which are, don't cure anything, uh, but they can help for short term. There are some vacuum device pumps, which can boost blood flow to the penis. It may take months to actually work, but it does work for about 80% of individuals. Uh, surgery may include a penile implant. Uh, vascular reconstruction surgery can work well if there's small blockage, um, but not usually if there's widespread blockage. All right, so the benefits of stem cell treatment uh, is vasculogenesis, first and foremost, new development of blood vessels from endothelial progenitor cells. Helps repair and regenerate damaged tissues as well as create new blood flow. It inhibits scar formation. Um, an entire orchestra of regenerative components are available in the amniotic fluid that we'll be talking about. And that includes uh, live stem cells, cytokines, growth factors, exosomes, microRNA, hyaluronic acid, um, and more. The groundbreaking study uh, for erectile dysfunction treated with stem cell therapy uh, was published last year. It's actually ongoing with more and more patients. Uh, it's called Determining Feasibility of Using Stem Cells to Treat ED in Humans. It was published in the Journal of the American Osteopathic Association. It evaluated intracavernosal injections of placental matrix amniotic-derived mesenchymal stem cells. Uh, Post-prostatectomy patients were excluded these eight patients were treated involving injections of mesenchymal stem cells into the corpora at the base. Five patients now get erections on their own, and two um, can but need PDE5 inhibitors. Um, and these, uh, their other patient was lost to follow up. Uh, the peak systolic velocity increased between 30 and 70% at six months, which was extremely statistically significant. All patients were very happy with their outcomes, and there were no complications. Um, also, the study showed sustained improvement in penile blood flow after mesenchymal stem cell injection. So these are sustained results that uh, last over six months, and they're still following them, but much better than any other uh, treatment today on the market for long-term results. So essentially, when the amniotic fluid and placenta are obtained, it's after a scheduled C-section from consenting mothers. The hospital is consented as well. Um, the lab takes the sterile material and processes it according to the FDA regulations, and then 
Um, what you end up having is various cell lines that can be produced, including lung, pancreas cells, thymus, bone, fat, neural, skin, uh, and then so on and so forth with blood vessels. So here's another study, uh, the current status of stem cell therapy and erectile dysfunction. This was actually a review. So they reviewed four clinical trials, so it's called a meta-analysis. All four reported improvements in ED after stem cell therapy, and there were positive effects on erectile, this, uh, erectile function and few adverse events. This was published last year in the World Journal of Men's Health. So the concept of regenerative medicine is that we're not just offering a Band-Aid. It's not like you have a pain and you're just getting a narcotic. This is actually a treatment that increases blood flow, improves function, and we're showing it to be long-term uh, sustainability. The amniotic fluid that is used by R3 stem cell centers of excellence uh, for these treatments uh, includes growth factors, cytokines, different types of collagen, hyaluronic acid, microRNA. There's various exosomes and secretomes. Um, lots of mesenchymal stem cells, fibroblasts, keratinocytes, epithelial cells, and more. That's just a partial list. So it truly is the full orchestra of regenerative components. R3 truly wants to make a difference in patients' lives. That's our mission. By helping avoid surgery and remain as active as desired with the most effective treatments with the least invasive methods. Our proprietary treatments are customized to each patient and include options such as the stem cell therapy, PRP therapy with blood-derived growth factors, along with what's called shockwave therapy, which is not painful, but it can help as well in conjunction with the others. Our flagship ED centers of excellence see patients locally, and we have a patient concierge travel program nationwide. Visit us today at stemcellserectiledysfunction.com and simply call us at 844-GET-STEM and we'll get you in for treatment. Thank you very much.